Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lori and today we're going to do a little review on these little gems that I found um, on Amazon. And uh, look at all the pretty colors. They are cake pastels. They don't have any oil in them so they're just like the pan pastels. But are they? For a doll artist, these are super convenient. And I had to try them. I had to pick them up and see what I thought about them. So I'm going to show you how I feel about them. I'm going to do half a face. Now this doll I had already repainted a while ago. I was trying to make him somebody and I ended up using a different doll. So I'm going to do half his face in this and the other half in Pan Pastels. And just sort of get a feel of how I like each one compared to the other and if these are worth your time they are 20 bucks each which is you know a super great value obviously the size is really convenient there's a lot of colors here to play with so um, I'm probably not going to need as many colors here for him but I'm still going to dig into them a little bit I've got some darker colors here. These are more, I don't know, let's take a look at them really quick. I'll set him aside. These are more fun and playful colors, you can see. These are beautiful colors. So, I mean, even if I don't like them, um, I would still be able to use them for maybe blush or eyeshadow on top of my pan pastels. And that's probably what will happen. That's my guess, because I've, I've already kind of played with them, you know, just a spoiler alert already played with them a little bit but I haven't really sat down with a doll and just like given it my all so here is some they're beautiful colors and you know a pan pastel which here's one of my here's about the size of a pan pastel compared to these so of course while these range from like seven to twelve dollars eh, variable you know amount very you know what I'm saying I don't know I'm spitting out my words. Anyway, you're obviously getting a whole lot more in one of these for the color and it'll probably last you as a doll artist forever, forever. So uh, I think I paid $65 to $70 for my, for my pan pastels that are in the, the, the most colors I would use the portrait, the portrait set, but you can also buy them individually. I mean, I think you'll end up getting more colors in the set than if you bought them individually, but you can do it. There is, let's check it out, see if I can see an ounce. This is a colorless blender, but they're all the same size. What's the ounce for this? I don't know. I can't see it on the back here, but I will put it, I'll put it on the screen so you'll see it. And, you know, and compare to... And I will also try to figure out how many ounces, um, how many, you know, how much you get product wise in this as well. And I'll put it up on the screen and down below, but I'm going to be using the birthday suit because it has the most skin tone colors, the portrait type set. Let's open it up and, um, yeah, so you can see what I've got there and uh, it's a nice variance of color. I wish I had a blue. I don't have a blue, but you can buy. I think they have more of these. I'll, like I said, I'll put links below, everything like that, so you'll know. But let's dig into this. And I'm going to be using my makeup brushes as usual. I've got my set here. So just my traditional makeup brushes that I normally do. And uh, I've got a fluffy brush to fluff things off and I've got something to do, you know, all the contouring and everything. And I have a smaller brush, a little, you know, you know, I think you know the drill. If you don't know, I have lots of videos about this, so you can always check back with my other videos, but I use makeup brushes to contour my doll's face. So anyway, I also have, I'll just set this aside, a new brush. And it's for models, like teeny tiny model painting. 
This is called the Army Painter War Game The Psycho. I ordered two brushes, but one of them came broken, so I can only review this one. And uh, I'll just let you take a real quick look at how tiny this is. I hope it's clearing up. Let me see if I can make sure you can see it. It's so, so tiny. And um, my favorite brush right now that I have been using is the the Princeton Petite, and you can just see the difference there in size. Let me see if I can find something darker to set it up against. There we go. So you can, can you see? I'm getting the light in there, but yeah, there you go. That's quite a bit of difference. So we will see how I feel about that. And I have a little thing I'm gonna put it back on so I don't mess it up, but I'll be reviewing this brush as well. Anyway, let's get into this. And let me, let's just try to match up some colors that I would be using. So, of course, this is my Pan Pastel set. And as you can see, it is really big. And if you've watched my channel before, you know I put them in like a small, I scrape colors off into a smaller container. So I've kind of, I've kind of fixed that problem. But my normal colors that I use would be red iron oxide, of course the titanium white. I use this um, burnt sienna tint. Yeah, burnt sienna tint. I had to take a peek. Um, for him, I would probably be using burnt sienna shade. And um, I like to use this one, this red, permanent red. Uh, 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 let's just pull that out. I'll just use those colors. Let me put the lid on. You do not want to drop and break these. They do shatter if you drop and break them. So that's not that it really matters, except for I broke one of these one time. This is a replacement one. And it was, oh my God, what a nightmare to clean up because the pigment is crazy strong. So I have these guys here. And I have these guys here. I've got my guy here. And this is my colorless blender, which of course I, I imagine you can use with both sets. This feels to me when I've used it before that this is already muted down pigment where this feels like it's straight up strong pigment. So I wouldn't need this for this one, but maybe for this one. And this is, I broke this one. So you can see what I mean. Like they, they shatter pretty easily. And I think if you go on YouTube, you can find how to repair a shattered pan pastel. I think it's pretty easy. People just put alcohol and press it down and then it dissipates. But anyhow, let's do this, shall we? So I'm going to start with this side. Let me get a paper towel so I can clean up my brush. Make sure it's nice and clean. And... Um, uh, normally what I would do is I'm going to go in with what would be to me comparable to the burnt sienna tint and um, let me tap some, I don't know where to tap it, but I'm just going to go ahead and put that on the doll and I want you to really, if you can, take a look at how it looks like when it gets on the, on the doll's face and just so you know, this was a repaint that I did before and it um, it has uh, it's been resculpted. It's been some fillers and things like that. So I really picked something difficult to work with <laughs> to start, and that's good though because I mean you want to know if this thing is going to give you what you want. Okay, so that is the. I want to make sure my light is really good and in there. Should be able to see it. So that is that color. Now I'm going to go with the pan pastel on the other side. And lay that all down on the doll's face on this side. Okay. I messed up his eyebrows there. So. Okay, so the first thing I notice, let me clean off my brush. 
the first thing I notice when I look at this is I'm getting a lot more coverage. Whoa, a little close there. I'm getting a lot more coverage on this side than this side. And this side is more flat than this side. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a, a little bit of a sheen. My coverage is way better on the pan pastel side than it is on this side. So there's my first thing. And I guess you could spray this side more, but why would you want to have to keep doing that if you don't have to? You know, I mean, I don't want to do that. I don't have to spray extra. So I feel like this side needs another layer and I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And I kind of want to show how I'm going to try to build up another layer on there. Oh no. Did you guys see that? My light just burned out. Let me see if I can fix that. But there we go. So I still feel like I'm getting a lot more coverage on this side, even though this has two layers. And there's a shine, which of course you know if I do the spray, it's not going to be a big deal. But why is it shiny? That's a good question, right? Okay, so my next step would be to go with um, we're going to go with this color, which is the Burnt Sienna Shade. And of all of the Pan Pastels, my Burnt Sienna Shade is not great anyway. But I'm going to find something similar. What do you guys think? Similar to Burnt Sienna Shade. I would say that's the closest thing we've got. So we'll go with that. Burnt Sienna Shade. Right, so I don't know what the colors of these are. I think... I don't think it says, but let's do some sculpting in there, and I'm getting a pretty good, getting pretty good color there. Look at that up in here. Okay, and up underneath here, and maybe a little on the side of the nose. I mean, we're not trying to do anything too. I'm not making a doll or anything. I just want to see how it works. Okay, so that's not so bad. That actually worked pretty nice. And clean up my brush. Now let's go with the Pan Pastel side. And of course, I already know how this one works. And it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. So, I uh, see if you can see the difference. It looks pretty similar. So, now I'm going to try some blush color. And I will go with, I don't really have anything in this one that's very close to this. It's just not going to be a true red in here. So what I'll do is I'll dilute this one down and maybe make a pink out of it with some white, titanium white, or some, some, some of this, like that color, those two colors. These two colors. I'll use these two colors to try to get close to this color. So let me try this color as a blush um, tone. Ooh, look how much I lost on my hand. So let me grab some of that back. Okay, well I'm not picking up a whole lot of color there. I am getting some though. Time to wash it off and try the other side. And I have to blend the two together here. So I'm taking a little bit of this color and that color. It's not really the same, but I'm doing the best I can here with them. Um, color matching. So obviously I'm getting more here. Side. 
All right. Well, as far as just fleshing things out so far, it's not too bad. To me, there's a sheen. I don't know if you can see the shine on one side versus the other is more matte. And this is more shiny. Let's try some white. So I need something. I need something uh, flat for that. Let's try some of this white. And I'm going to put that like up underneath the eyes, which I would normally do with a with a doll anyway. So there's the white half of the chin there. It's just oops. Okay, half the chin, maybe a little bit under here. Well, there goes that one. <laughs> I'll have to get that in just a minute. And then, I don't know how else to do this halfway down. Maybe a little bit above his eyebrow. Okay, so wipe off that of that and get some white from the Pan Pastel. You can see how much stronger that is. Um, like it's straight up strong. And here's the thing about that. <clears throat> so I need another brush to wipe off the excess because I dropped my brush. The thing about um, about the white, I'm going to give this one more white. I'm going to be really, like, get it in there the best I can. The white, when you spray it, the light colors, when you spray it, they, um, they kind of disappear with the spray. They don't really hold their their place. I'm not saying that right. I, I hope you guys understand what I mean. Let me let me try to re <laughs> let me think just a second. So I need to kind of soften the edges on the on that side. But okay, so looking at it, this is two times with the white. That's one time with the white. So, let me try to get it so that you can see how much. Okay, let's just be honest, right, for just a minute. This stuff will work. It'll work. But, it's not going to work as good as this. The Pan Pastel is just a far superior product to, what is this called? I forgot what they call them online, but they're Jane Davenport pa uh, Palette Pastels. So, clearly, this is a much stronger side than that one. So, let me spray it. I'm going to clean off the eyes and spray it and come back. And we're going to take a look and see what it looks like after and maybe try some of the other colors. Okay, I sprayed him, and to be honest, um, he doesn't look bad at all. He actually looks pretty good. So, um, what I would do for me, because there's some something about my Pan Pastels, I would probably use these with my Pan Pastels. And if I was trying to save a little bit of money, I would buy these, and then I would maybe buy... Um, at least these two colors at, at the very minimum and maybe a black too it depends though you don't always need the black but i would probably buy these two colors for sure so um you're not going to get as deep a color as you are with the pan pastels but it's not bad it's not bad at all so I said I was going to try another color, and I'm going to because I want to get up inside the, like this part here. So I'm just going to take some of that and put it there like I normally would. And uh, brush that off a little bit. And then take maybe something a little bit darker. And uh, let's see, maybe this color over here. And just see how well I do on getting creating shadows with it. Because that's what I would use it for a lot. Just kind of mix those together. And, and you can see I'm doing okay. I think if you can see. I think I'm doing okay. I think it's um 
it's not bad. I could definitely get in there and create something. So, yeah. That is, it's not bad. Is it um, as good as that one? No. Is it usable? Yes. Could you change the color of a doll with this? I think it would be really hard. I don't think the coverage is there. But for basic use, I think it would work pretty good. It's not bad. I kind of would say at the end, finally, that it is sort of like a, a more chalky pastel where these are a little bit more soft. So that's my final. I do recommend them, but not for only use. So let me put the uh, everything away and let's try that brush out. Okay, I'm back and I have some paint here. I'm just going to try to do some eyebrow hairs with this very incredibly tiny little brush. So I've already mixed a little bit of Anita's and some paint together. I'm just going to grab a little bit of paint, not a lot. And I gotta move something out of my head. I've got my big headgear on. So let's get right up in there, shall we? Let's see here. Okay. I have to kind of. You gotta keep the brush clean so much when you're working on something like this. It's. It's a very tiny brush, so it doesn't hold a lot of color. And of course, I'm sorry, my headgear's bumping things. Holding my breath. Okay, I'm not getting a lot of color on the brush. Let me keep trying. Maybe I need more. Oh, I think I dipped it way too deep. I'm going to have to clean that out really good because you don't want to ruin the the reservoir at the back of the end of the brush with acrylic. It'll definitely ruin it. Okay, well, here we go. I'm getting a little bit more bold. Oh, a little thick on that one, but that's okay. I think it's a matter of me trying to get adjusted to such a tiny brush. I'm not, I know it seems like I'm struggling, but um, I like it. I like the brush. It's just really small. So I'm having a hard time using it as my mixing tool. So I think I'm gonna just grab another one of my other brushes. I'm just grab one of my other brushes. And pull some color up here like that. I think, I think that's my problem. Okay, so now I've got a little bit mixed up here on my thing. It'll be easier for me to get to. It's not really good for mixing. This thing's making me crazy. All right. All right, come on. Let's be able to see, can we? Can you? I can. Like how I'm always like on one side or another corner. I'm having a hard time seeing today. And if I wait too long, you can see that the paint just immediately dries up. I fogged up my glasses. Well, I'm not surrendering. I'm really trying to get this going. Um, I'm having some issues with vision. Looks like I got some pain in that brush this time. Ay, 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 ay. <sighs> I wonder if you guys can see better than me. Probably. Hmm. <sighs> All right, 
Well, clearly I'm having some difficulties. I don't want to blame the brush because I feel like it's me. So I'm going to try something. I'm going to try to double up my glasses and see if that helps because I'm pretty close. All right. Clear up for me. Can you guys see? Clear up. No, I can't see shit now. Okay, so I pull out, I pulled out my eight diopter 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 um, magnifying glass, and um, it is actually a really nice brush. And the problem is me, not the brush. So um, I'm having a hard time seeing. For some reason, it's just I'm not. Maybe I'm not getting enough light. Let me try to bring the light down here. These are real problems with working on a doll so it could be a light issue I don't know my don't I don't see it very well but it's definitely the brush is not the problem it's definitely me I mean this is a tiny little brush and um, I don't love my eyebrows here they are atrocious but this doll is not for anything it's just a it's just a practice doll I would swipe him clean again to use for something else because he didn't work for a project the only thing I would say in comparison is the brush is so short and I'm not getting very good strokes with it, you know? So I don't know if I would use it for the entire repaint. Let's just do it. Let's just do an example. Okay. Let me take my little, my, this brush, the petite. Okay. Let me try because this one's going to hold a lot more paint in it. So let me just see if I'm as messed up with this one as I was with the other one because I think I just can't see well. Okay, well my my conclusion is is that I can paint a little bit better with this one on those long like hair light strokes you would think that one would be better for it but it's so short I might need one with a longer bristle I love how tiny it is though so to not give up on it because I wouldn't it's such a tiny great little brush I think this would be great for eyeballs because look how tiny those are. So let's just grab some paint. All right, I've picked up a little bit of blue and white and I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to get some of that blue in the eye again since I've lost some of it. Let me get right up in there so you can see what I'm doing. And yes. Oh my goodness, is that ever wonderful for this job? So I think my problem is, is that it's just a matter of, of, of being, not being accustomed to the brush. And it's definitely that it's this little tiny section is perfect for these little tiny eyes. So yeah, I will definitely be purchasing more of these. I'll put a link down below. Let me try some lines in his lip. This paint's not going to last long because I just barely put any there. But let me try to put a little bit on his lip, just his bottom lip. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Okay. So I absolutely love it.
I don't think it'll be the only brush in your arsenal, but I definitely think you would be able to use it and you would enjoy it. Okay, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you got something out of it. Let me turn that around. So the Army Painter uh, in Psycho, I like the brush quite a bit. I still like my Princeton Petite Monogram brush and uh, some of my other brushes, but this is definitely going to help me, especially with tiny, tiny little details. And this stuff, not bad. I like it. Would I use it only? No, but I like it. And I do recommend it, especially if you want to do something really like fun with purple eyeshadow or some of the other bright colors in the other palette. Anyway, thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, ring the bell if you want to uh, be notified when I have new videos. And if you'd like to join my Patreon, I'm doing a series right now that uh, is all the deep dive into repainting and every little detail, uh, step by step, nothing, no fast anything. It's just talk through the whole procedure. So anyway, if you'd like to join my Patreon, I'll put the link below. I'll also link these things up so that you can try them yourself. Thank you so much. I will see you guys next time. Bye.